What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Jerry. Back with another video on the Jerry Rash channel. Y'all know I'm never gone. Too long. Yo, you always got this song going on with the head. I know y'all always like, yo, you always doing something with the head, bro. Yo, that's because it's time for it to get done, y'all. I know y'all see all that new growth, man. My head about long as a month, man. Y'all would have been seeing me do my reaction videos like a few years ago. Y'all would have seen my growth, y'all. Should have did that, man. Might post a little video of my growth. But I swear, I ain't have none of this last year. I grew all this in one year, man. One year. But look, though, y'all. Back with another video. You know what I'm saying? We got an iconic one today. We got an iconic one today. So you know when you in elementary, middle, maybe high school, you know you got a teacher. It's the reason why I'm putting the shirt on, by the way. Listen, you know when you're in high, middle school, elementary school, whatever case is, you might have a teacher to give you a little paper first day of school, like a syllabus, whatever type shit like that, type shit, type shit. And she, you know, he or she will give you a paper, you know, what's your name, what's your birthday, what's your favorite color, what's your favorite movie, your favorite show, you know, stuff like that, right? You know me, I mean, what's your favorite music, stuff like that, you know what I mean? To me, I used to put, you know, all the stuff I put, so far as movie and show, I'm a Spongebob freak, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Spongebob. I stopped watching the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta get back on those new episodes, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care, y'all, I'm gonna be 60, 70, 80 watching it. Just like how I am with Tom and Jerry, you know, the mother shows, my father is 50 years old, watches them shows, man, come on now. But don't get me wrong, we will watch some Just Madness. We will watch some, yeah, some old, other old stuff. Not just cartoons, don't get it twisted. Well, you know what I'm saying? We love cartoons. Come on, bro, who can? If you ain't, if you ain't, if you ain't a true kid inside, man, you just, you, you, something wrong with you. But you feel me? Long story short, SpongeBob was my favorite movie and my favorite show. So we doing this little thing here, right? Where's the, we gonna go ahead and check out some Easter egg background Things we miss type shit type shit. And we're gonna see what those saying that we miss apparently. Right? Some things that we might have not seen, what was seen, that you know what I mean. <laughs> and we gonna see what this nigga talking about. Cause apparently it's a lot of things we miss. What they say? A ninja got a ninja call. Hey, but well look, yo, let's go ahead and get into this video, yo. Shout out to SpongeBob SquarePants official channel. I ain't even know they had one all these years. I would have been on it, bro. Like five million views. I'm five million subscribers. Three million views. I'm pretty sure they've been doing this channel for some years. So yeah, I miss a lot. But let's get right to this video. Easter eggs and background uh, details. You. Never notice from iconic episodes, SpongeBob. Okay, so we supposed to be saying some shit that we were supposed to be seeing, apparently, but never seen, never paid attention to, never realized it was there. So let's see what they gonna do. This is a little nice little 10, 15, 10 11 minute video. Nice we're little something something. Another edition of things you missed. This time we're looking into the iconic Hope moments I can you've seen this. a bazillion times. But did you ever notice this? Yeah. They were sitting up there. Things you missed during iconic SpongeBob episodes. Number one, band geeks. It's the first night of band rehearsals, and things are off to a rough start. People, people, settle down. Okay, now, how many of you have played musical instruments before? Do instruments of torture count? No. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. <laughs> Let's start by talking about the game of musical chairs the band seems to be playing. When we start the scene, SpongeBob and Patrick are seated next to each other in the second row, and Sandy on the left side next to Mr. Krabs. Right. Oh, and now Patrick is next to Sandy? Okay. <laughs> what the? From this angle, we can see Pearl in the last row, and SpongeBob in the second row behind the drums. Right section, go. But now, Pearl's in the front row. And the drums. And so is SpongeBob with a drum? Which brings us to our next missed thing. 
brass section. Go! When Squidward asked the brass section to play, Pearl is playing a saxophone, which that's is not a woodwind instrument. Not a brass instrument. That's a But that's instrument. something only a real band geek would notice. Let's flash nah, forward. what a musician would know. Flagballers really stink those things. Oh, this was sad though when the flag boy died. They both died. See, people always really thought Spongebob, like, the whole show was so innocent how y'all really thought it was. Yo, people died on that show, bro. Like, it's a good the show. Have you ever noticed this? There's an anchor on the blimp to keep it from floating up. Genius. Also, right. if you take a really close look at Mr. Krabs, you can see him shed a tear. Aw, he does They both did. Emotions. Yo, I never peep that. He already knew it was up. There's a lot going on here. Like this, this, and this. But I wanted to point out this. Mother of Pearl! SpongeBob is using someone's arm to fight, and the arm doesn't even match anyone's in the fight. Where did he get that thing? Alright, let's get to the part you've been waiting for. That's crazy. <laughs> In the shot where SpongeBob sings, On the world closing in! He can be seen wearing the Best Friends Forever ring from the secret box. Yo! It's the Best Friends Forever! Best Friends Forever! Ring! Speaking of band geeks, if you haven't seen it already, go watch our reimagined prehistoric version up on the SpongeBob YouTube channel now. Number two, the Fry Cook Games. Win this one because I told you to. Because I told me to! Take that! Get your face sticks here! Oh, brutal! When the hot oil hits these fish, they turn into fish sticks. My man is an entrepreneur. He was on it as soon as they died. Get your fish sticks. My question is, how come this time the fish turn appropriately to fried fish, but getting fried on Goo Lagoon turns you to something completely different? Honey? Huh? You're not using that tan accelerator. Oh, yeah, the, the bacon. No, what the f don't pretend you don't love it. <laughs> don't pretend you don't love it. That's right. In the episode Sun Bleached, this fish flies at the sun and turns to bacon? What is the science behind that exactly? Let's fast forward to one of the most iconic SpongeBob matchups ever. Nah, that was tough when it was big as shit. That was tough. That was a good episode, the iconic yeah. line is, my name's not Rick. But to anyone watching in Spanish, the line is very different. Nadie me cambia el nombre. That's right. Instead of, my name's not Rick, it's, no one changes my name. Nadie me cambia el nombre. SpongeBob I wouldn't know that. Reconcile and agree to never fight again as they walk off into the sunset. But... Did you miss this joke by Patrick? You're my best friend ever. <laughs> you too, Patrick. You know, these were the white when I bought them. <laughs> uh, one more time. I remember you know, that. These were the white when I bought them. Patrick says his underwear were white when he bought them. I thought he bought them in yellow in honor of his best friend, but classic artsy Patrick wanted to dye them <laughs> himself. Pissed right. on him, huh? That's what he meant by used to be white. He used some yellow paint. <laughs> Oh, oh. And use no wild, no no Let's yellow fire paint. Off some quick ones before we get to our final episode, SB129. Number three, pizza delivery. You all know how this one ends. Congratulations, sir. Your Krabby Patty pizza is here. Wow, thanks. I've been dying for one of these. It, 
Where's my drink? Where's my drink? <laughs> what drink? My, my di- drink? My diet. My diet, Dr. Dr. Kelp? Don't tell me you <laughs> forgot my <laughs> drink! But you didn't order any. How am I supposed to eat this pizza without my drink? drink? But what if I told you this could have been avoided? If listened closely, the customer's gibberish continues before Mr. Krabs hangs up on it, suggesting the customer could have been trying to order his drink. Pizza! Mm. Of course we have pizza! Uh, Mr. Krabs! Our delivery squid will bring it right over. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, we don't serve pizza. We'll bring it right don't over. Don't bang that pizza to a pizza. I remember that. Number four, ripped pants. Winding up with no one is a lot less fun than a burn from the sun. A sign of your buns. I'm telling you, I'm a spot by fanatic, bro. I won't soon forget. So listen, and you won't regret. Be true to yourself. Don't miss your chance. It must be a rain again today. We had a storm last night. that cheering crowd. Everyone is loving it, except for these guys. These two are <laughs> completely frozen, unblinking, and just... I never peeped that. I was looking at Spongebob and them so much, I never peeped Staring that. I knew it was a crowd, but... Either these guys aren't having any fun, or they're having a bit too <laughs> much fun. Either way, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Number five, Franken Doodle. Huh? Oh, it seems as if inspiration is stuck. <laughs> Niggas thought they was gonna say always bring a extra pencil. <laughs> the artist has learned the first lesson of the sea: always bring a spare pencil. <laughs> The artist that loses his pencil is none other than Doug Lawrence, one of the main writers on the show, and the voice actor of Plankton, Fred, My life. I knew Harry the Lobster, and so much more. I'm sure you. I knew he sounded already. like somebody okay. with that screen. And now our final iconic episode is SB One Two Nine. Plankton screen. Let's go straight to this trippy moment. Anything odd? No. Squidward breaks the time machine, sending him on a spiral through time and space. But what the heck is this? We see the words huh and ooh flying oh, through space. Sure, okay. But why the heck is the word asparagus flying? What does this tasty vegetable have to do with the time space continuum? Oh, then no. Squidward lands in a world of emptiness. Listen closely and see if you can hear something weird. No more. I may finally have found a place where I can be all alone. Hear anything out of the ordinary? By now, you know what Squidward's squeaky footsteps sound like. True, right. But in this nowhere dimension, his footsteps make a different sound than usual. Kind of sounds like he's got his dancing shoes on. I hate crabs. I wish they would leave the ocean in taxi cabs. Hmm. And all the customers can kiss. That was different, different, yo. We gonna have to check some more out this because I know they got some more like some things you never notice and iconic. Cause that crab, that crab, Mr. Crabs is crying. 
and the ink on that blimp and that stuff like that and and sandy and them being in different seats and different like when they when and it wasn't like it was like a whole different scene or something like here like here literally just say brass gold like they was literally just the picture before they was in the other part of the road the next thing you know they somewhere in the front like how, how like how does that work like that bro no nah, that's tough yo that's tough some of those things i never noticed yo been watching that show since 1999, you hear me? Since I was literally a toddler, since I was born. The show came out when I was born, like. So just a little background on that, you feel me? Long story short, SpongeBob had came out in 1998, to be honest. And it started as like a project called SpongeBoy. You can look it up. It was called SpongeBoy. And it was Aaron, he had a little few things, Aaron, what not, what not, what not. It was more like a sitcom more than anything. It was absolutely but it was, it, They changed it to SpongeBob SquarePants in 1999. Like, I think it was like in June, somewhere in the summer, I think, or a little bit before the summer. And um, long story short, they gave us help on it. If you go check that episode, that was the first, that was the first one. When SpongeBob came down and asked, you know, said help on it. He had to prove himself to Mr. Krabs and whatnot and all that, but he wouldn't give him the job. And all those nematodes came out them buses. You know what I'm saying? All them nematodes came out them buses and and tore that whole Krusty Krab up. And he came back and he saved their asses. That's what Mr. Krabs hired him. And then I've said all all the way up to twenty something years later, twenty three years later. They 20 something seasons in, still going strong, yo. But, like, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. We on the road to a thousand subs, you know what I'm saying? Link will be in the description for that video. Link will be in the description for the SpongeBob SquarePants official channel. We're gonna have to go ahead and check back into this. As long as they, as long as when I post this and they let niggas post it, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no restrictions, then we definitely gonna be coming that back at this. But if y'all don't see this video, just because they ain't want me to post it, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all see it, that means I could post it. So like it up, man. Run it up so we can have some more of these SpongeBob episodes. We're gonna start doing some cartoon shit, yo. We're gonna start doing some cartoon shit. We're gonna add that into the content, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be safe, man. I'll be back with a new video real soon. Billy, I'ma take off, I'ma take off And if then they're gonna try to play soft Glock, I'm come off the pitch like the playoffs Pull up my whole